Across the West Midlands on 95.6 FM, Phil Upton at breakfast on BBC WM. It's National Volunteer Week. This week celebrates the efforts of thousands of people across the country who give their time for nothing to help others. Some of the main groups working in Solihull are coming together to celebrate Volunteers Week this morning. And Lucy King is along to see a whole host of them this morning. Morning, Lucy. Hello, Phil. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> morning, it's a jubilant mood I was saying here in Solihull this morning and I've managed to drag three volunteers away um, from their duties this morning. Well, I produce the local talking newspaper and I also do the production of production one week in four. Therefore we put it out on cassette tape for them to listen to it. And incredibly popular, isn't it? Well, we have about 200 uh, listeners at the moment. It used to be higher than that, so I don't know whether medical science has changed matters or not, but we don't get as many as we used to. But you still enjoy it, obviously. Oh, I still enjoy it. <laughs> I've also got um, Ross Furby with me this morning, Phil, and you've been volunteering for four years at Citizens Advice. And why did you decide to volunteer in the first place? Well, as a business type, I wanted to give something back. And uh, Citizens Advice, I've found, has been the right place to go, definitely. So what sort of work do you do there? We take uh, into the bureau here at Solihull uh, anyone who has got a problem. I mean, we're the only free... Uh, advice service which is available for everyone so it's fantastic uh, the sort of satisfaction you get with it when you can help people and we, they go out of the door with something of a smile they're finding a way through are you finding that it's a, a increase of uptake in the service during the recession tough times for everyone afraid so De debt increases um, and also relationship problems we found on the increase so it's very sad but if we can do something that's what it's about got another volunteer with me, Phil. I've got uh, Salim Ahmed, and you work at uh, Age Concern. And why did you decide to, to volunteer? Well, I think that is my way of supporting a very good cause, and it gave, gives me great satisfaction uh, working with old clients and old people. Absolutely. Claire's with me. You're from Sustain, and you're the development manager. Yeah. These guys are a real inspiration and you would encourage more people to, to come forward and volunteer, wouldn't you? Absolutely. We've got about 13,500 people that volunteer in Sody Hall at the moment, but we need so much more because all of the voluntary groups touch about 70% of the population. So you, there's loads and loads of good work that they do, but we do need more people to sort of sign up for volunteering. So we are really encouraging people. We've got different events across the borough to encourage people to come along and volunteer. We've actually recruited 104 in the last two days. So that's fantastic, but we'd love to have more. Lucy, I don't know, it's possible to speak to uh, somebody there, Celine maybe? I mean, you say that you, you, you work with Age Concern there in Solihull. What do you actually do for them? Well, I work for their scheme called Neighbourhood Care. Right. Uh, and that really supports people who live on their own, they're housebound. We befriend them. And I've also turned a few of my clients into silver surfers, would you believe? Oh, really? On the internet? <laughs> yes, very Excellent. much so, so that now they are in touch with their uh, uh, worldwide families, so you know, grandchildren and so they've extended their, their circle, their social circle, by, by being on the internet and stuff. That's right. So, yes. I mean, what do you, give, give me an idea, Celine. What do you get out of volunteering? Oh, it's so satisfying. It's really working in partnership with your clients. And there's so much to learn. I personally have been given uh, training with a lot of skills and tools that I need in doing my work in befriending um, and helping my clients. And um, I've learned a lot, very much so. And I don't know, if, you, if someone's listening this morning and was maybe thinking about volunteering because of volunteers week or something, what, what would you say to them? Well, I, I, I would say that please do volunteer and come because you are going to enrich yourself tremendously and also uh, being a two-way process, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's very satisfying indeed. Um, uh, and accept the challenge because in Neighbourhood Care Scheme we have something like 70 clients waiting for volunteers to come and, you know, I, I, I'm sure if you do, you will not regret it. Celine, Please fantastic. Give whatever time and in whatever capacity you can. Fantastic talking to you. Salim Ahmed uh, with the rest of the volunteers there and Lucy King, our radio car reporter, with the sounds of St. Alfred's <laughs> Church in the background. Timing. Uh, <laughs> in the, it is. In the middle of uh, Sully Hall this morning. Thank you very much indeed, Lucy. If you want to find out more about Volunteers Week, volunteersweek.org.uk.
the website. Go and have a look for yourself. Across the West Midlands on 95.6 FM, Phil Upton at breakfast on BBC WM.